Hello everyone, Kanichiwa Mina-san, it's Koneko here, and for today's video, I'm gonna show you the bubble tea that I got from my local grocery store. So one of my local grocery stores is Sobeys. And Sobeys, I've noticed recently, has had a bunch of different bubble tea to go. So I decided to pick up the sour raspberry flavor because I thought that might be a safe bet because I do like raspberry, sour raspberry sounds really good. And I haven't had a lot of bubble tea before, to be honest. I remember getting bubble tea when I was in Vancouver, but I think that was 2014. And I don't remember which flavor I tried. <laughs> so that doesn't really help me at all. I should really try some more bubble tea. I like tea and there's a lot of different flavors of stuff that I like. I've had like raspberry flavored teas before and other raspberry flavored drinks before that have all been pretty good so I thought that I would go with this one. In this box you get two packages like this. I already tried one so I'll get to my thoughts on that in a second but you also get two straws in the package as well that are very large. They each come packaged and I've already used the blue one. Last time I used a similar cup but it was blue and you couldn't really see the color that well. Um, so this was the best that I could do for today. It's relatively clear but it has a bunch of pusheen and sprinkles and cupcakes and macarons on it so on the side of the box it tells you the exact steps to use for this and like I had mentioned I tried the other package already and I did some video clip of me doing the steps that are required to make this which are super simple also what I don't have with me because they're in the fridge right now are the actual bubbles. So you get a small container of sealed bubbles and you can use about half of them and then refrigerate the other half. I will insert that clip of making the first pack of this sour raspberry bubble tea. So we have the one cup of ice and then we have about 150 milliliters of water. There is also a marker on here, it's kind of hard to see so that I can make sure it's 150 milliliters of water. It smells like raspberry candy. On the side of the box, it mentions that you can use 150 milliliters of water or chilled tea. As you saw in the clips, I decided to go what I thought was maybe the safer route and I went with water. So it was more just like a watery, a sour raspberry drink, like not a tea, just a sour, sour raspberry 
cold drink and it was really really good I really liked it it just tasted like a raspberry drink a hint of sour flavor but nothing too crazy at all I do like sour candies and sour things soured flavored things. I might not be the best judge of the level of sour. For me, it wasn't that bad at all. And so now for this second package, I'm gonna try it with tea. So right now I've made a cup of tea. I'm cooling it or chilling it in the fridge. And I'm going to go down now and follow the same steps, but instead of water, I'm gonna use the chilled tea. So I'll measure that out in a measuring cup because I think I made more tea than I needed. And then I'll come back and show the bubble tea with actual tea and kind of compare and contrast water versus tea, what I like better. So I'm back with my bubble tea. It's a bit darker than it was last time because of the tea and it there it's really foamy at the top so it looks very liquidy down here and then quite foamy I think that's just how it settled in the blender and then when I poured it in here it's hard to see but there are bubbles at the bottom I don't know if it's the cup the way I'm blending it but even last time it was a bit difficult to see the bubbles at the bottom a bit easier maybe because it was lighter and it was just water but I'm gonna go ahead and taste it and compare it to last time when I tried it with just water it's really good I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't like it I've had chilled teas before but I wasn't sure how it was gonna mix with sour raspberry and the tea I decided to use was my English breakfast tea and I actually don't know what they use for regular bubble tea it might be like you know orange pico earl grey like or like a completely different tea like a non black tea I have no idea but I just, I saw this and it was so long since I had tried that bubble tea in Vancouver and I was really curious if this one would be better. I'm really happy that I got it because it sparked my interest again in trying bubble tea like at an actual shop. Last time when I tried the bubble tea I think it was strawberry. I don't know if they had raspberry but it might be something to look into to try the raspberry one if a shop has one but I like it both with the tea and with the water another thing is that I don't know if they typically add like milk or something in it but I didn't add any milk in here I just followed the instructions on the box and it just said either water or chilled tea so I think I would rate this a 10 out of 10. I would probably get it again, maybe trying out some of the other flavors, although I think this one was kind of the best one, I guess, that I saw there. On the back of the package that I showed it said stuff like almond, banana, and all this stuff, but I think they had like this one, and I think they had a banana one. There was a green one, I can't remember what flavor that was supposed to be but I don't really care for banana flavored things or most green flavored things. <laughs> I feel like if there was a watermelon one or a strawberry one, I would probably try those. I thought I'd just put this little video together on this bubble tea that I found. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of bubble tea. Do you love bubble tea? Is there a certain place that you go to get your bubble tea? Have you tried this package to go bubble tea before? What do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts about it or the video in the comment section below. So John took me over to the mall to get some bubble tea so that I can compare it to the bubble tea to go pack that I got from Sobeys. Um, I can't remember exactly what the store's name was. It was like, yeah, or something. I'll insert it here. They do frozen yogurt and crepes and cotton candy there and bubble tea, which we went around asking a few different places like Starbucks and David's Tea to see if they had bubble tea but nowhere had it so then we got directed towards this shop and they had a huge list of different flavors and I decided to go for matcha and I just went with 
there was either black tea or green tea as a base or like the original milk one so I just went for black tea which it tastes like Earl Grey and it's mocha flavored so a little bit of green tea flavor and it's it's really good I don't know if I'll be able to finish this because I feel like I've had so much tea today and I'm I'm getting a little tired of tea so it's it's hard to compare this to the bubble tea that I made since it's two different flavors um, I watched them make it and they make it quite differently than the package told me to make the one that I bought from Sobeys I really like them both I think I'd be more apt to get the sour raspberry one just because I love like that flavor a lot and I can make it in the comfort of my own home. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up so that I know that you like this video and if you're new here and you like this sort of content be sure to hit the subscription button down below. I post a new video every Wednesday and Saturday but it's good to click the little bell icon to be notified when I do upload the video. I've been streaming on Twitch Saturday night and I post that regularly to my Twitter or my Instagram stories. All links for my social media can be found in the description box below. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!